Uh, what is up guys, this is me t 3 h Trooper 91 and you're joining me for episode number 2 of my Racing Saturday series. Uh, okay, so today we are in the Aston Martin V12 Vantage GT3 car, um, here at Monza in Project Cars. Um, now, the camera is a bonnet camera, and just because I recorded this video off a replay um, that I saved a couple of builds ago, um, and there's a few graphical problems if I sort of record the video in the cockpit um, so I've just done it on the bonnet camera for now um, just to get this video out with at the moment I can't record a new video and um, so I'm relying on this one really to work for today um, but by the next week I'll be back up and running fully um, so as you can just see that and see the LS uh, join, rejoining the track so gained another position there it was a 20 car grid um, against the AIs at 100% difficulty. Uh, I believe I finished in 12th place at the end of the race. As we got a little bit close up there to that um, Ginetta. And now picking up its slipstream. Um, I believe that is position gain. You'll notice I quite often um, break a lot earlier than the AI. Um, I actually quite like the Aston Martin uh, to drive, but I just felt a little bit less confident on the brakes um, as the AI seemed to be. But that's, I am running the default setup on it, so if I tweak the setup a bit, I most likely could do a lot better lap times. You'll see most likely as I go a little bit wide there uh, through the final corner. Um, yeah, you most likely see most of my videos will be running the default setup. I might tweak setup on certain videos um, but I'm mostly going to be looking at running default setup as we cross over the line onto the second lap and getting him to slip through the Audi. Okay so going neatly around the first game as that um, ref there got a little bit wide on the exit of the chicane um, but hasn't lost the position for it. A bit hesitant to sort of make a move out on the LD just here. And there you go, just sort of cut back across in front of me. But we'll just keep behind it and wait for the right moment to go past. A little bit of contact there again with the RAF, and is, which forces the Audi out wide. So we'll sort of stay behind it a bit more. I'll pick up the slipstream as the back of the car slips out a bit there. We pick up the slipstream of the Audi now. Uh, down into the next, along this back straight. Now as we come up onto the next lap, I'm going to actually mute the microphone and turn up the game audio. So you can hear the uh, sort of game sounds a bit more, engine sounds with the Aston Martin. So I actually quite, do quite like the Aston Martin. Um, and I do want to do a few more races in it. So here we go. Getting past the Audi now. Or trying to. So we'll try and outbreak it into the last corner here. And we'll stick to the inside. And gain another position there. So what I'll do, I will uh, turn up the game settings and I will see you in the next lap.
Okay, so in that last lap, we've managed to gain another position, another couple of positions, but as we gain another one just there, going past the M3. Um, so we may have on lap 4. Oh, that M3 just gets past us again. Um, so now we're in on lap 4, dead a bit wide there, um, but not as much as that as you did. So lap 4 out of 5. Um, it's coming into lap, the start of lap 5, things start to go wrong for me. Um, but you'll see why in just a minute. Don't make move on the uh, M3 just there. I'll stay behind it uh, until the moment's right again. Most likely going up the back straight. It's not the easiest to try and make a manoeuvre around this part of the track. My most likely will actually my most favourite part to make a move is the most likely on the final corner uh, nipping it up the inside we get the slipstream of the Jeanette there and get past the M3 accidentally made a bit of contact with the Jeanette breaking early um, actually enables the Jeanette to come back through and somehow the M3 cuts across uh, most likely cut the track but we not, won't go into that so pick up the slipstream again down onto the final corner uh, do the same move as we've done on the Audi a couple of laps ago. Break early and stick to the inside of the track, forcing the M3 to go out wide. So I believe now we're up to position um, ninth, 8th or 9th. Um, but as you can see, it's going to go wrong entering this chicane down here. Come up past the Janetta and we'll start breaking for the uh, she came just here. Break a bit early and stick to the racing line. And the, all of a sudden, the genetic cuts across and just wipes the same. Losing four positions there. But we regain the track and quickly get past the Janetta, putting us up to 12th position. I sort of go on the attack to try and catch up the cars in front, uh, but on the final lap, it was a bit too much of an ass really to catch up on. Keeping it sort of tidy through that corner there. And then coming onto the back straight. So, this is uh, finishing this position here guys. Um, so, thanks very much for watching. Next video, uh, on next Saturday will actually be a better video hopefully be able to get a real pro back in and record a proper video so make sure you subscribe for that and stay tuned for that video um, obviously give it a like um, if you like it let us know in the comment section what you want to see next week as well and um, thanks very much for watching guys and I'll let the end of the video play see you next time